Number six, heated lithium atoms emit photons of light with an energy of 2.961 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Calculate the frequency and wavelength of one of these photons. What is the total energy in one mole of these photons? And then what is the color of this admitted light? All right, so a lot of questions here. So we will work with them, you know, as we go. So the only thing that they gave us really is that the energy is 2.961 times 10 to the negative 19. So I'm just going to put that down here. Energy is 2.961 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. And the first question is, well, they want to calculate the frequency and the wavelength. So if you guys been with me since question one, or, you know, just a couple of questions before this, we went over H equals H, sorry, E equals HC over wavelength, right? So this is a formula to use that interchanges energy with wavelength. Now I want to show you something else. Here, you could also tie in frequency into this equation because remember, C equals wavelength times frequency. And if I just divide the wavelengths, I get frequency equals wave, uh, actually frequency equals speed of light divided by wavelength. And look at that. This is the same thing as this. So what I can do is I can just say that, yeah, we have this formula, right? But we also have this formula as well. E equals HV because V equals C over wavelength. So I'm actually going to use, let me just erase this. I'm actually going to use this equation because it's just easier, right? Because they want to know what the frequency is first. So let's get down to it. So we want to know what this, fre this frequency is. So we want to know what V is. All right, well, E equals HV. So E equals H. That's Planck's constant, right? And that is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th times by frequency, which is V. Now, we do actually know the energy, right? That's the one that they gave us. So the energy that they gave us was 2.961 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. You want to solve for frequency, so I'll just divide by 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th on both sides, times 10 to the negative 34th. That cancels out, and now you have frequency equals whatever that is. So 2.961 times 10 to the negative 19th divided by Planck's constant 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th. That's a negative, and whoop, syntax error. <laughs> times, let me just redo this real quick. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th. Okay. So my frequency is 4.469 times 10 to the 14th, and that's in hertz or per second, right? How many cycles per second? So seconds minus one. So this is 4.469 times 10 to the 14th per second. Okay. So that's this answer. Now we want to know what the wavelength is. All right, well, we can always interchange from wavelength to frequency by using C equals wavelength times frequency. And we guys should know what C is, right? That's the speed of light. That's a constant number, which is roughly three, right? But in your textbook, it's 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So that equals wavelength times the frequency that we just found out here. So I'm just going to plug that in 4.469 times 10 to the 14th. Get wavelength by itself, divide by 4.469 times 10 to the 14th. Times 10 to the 14th. And then you have your wavelength. And I'll put wavelength over here. So wavelength equals 2.998 times 10 to the 8th divided by 4.469 
times 10 to the 14th. And you get 6.708 times 10 to the negative 7th. And that's in meters, because remember, when you use this formula and you're solving for wavelength, only meters will come out. So this would be 6.708 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. So that answers this question. They didn't say in nanometers, so I'm not going to convert. Okay, now they're asking for what the total energy is for one mole of these photons. Now, whenever they give you an energy value, this number, this joule amount, is always per one photon. So if I can write it up here because I'm kind of running out of space. But technically, this energy is 2.961 times 10 to the negative 19th joules per one photon. They want to know how much energy is in one mole. So in essence, they just want us to they just want us to go from one photon to one mole and find out that joule amount, right? So this looks like a conversion factor. Now, the thing is, is that we, we've never really talked about this conversion factor before, but you should know that one mole is equal to Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd photons. That's how you can go from moles to photons. So memorize this conversion. So all we have to do is take our joules, 2.961 times 10 to the negative 19th joules per one photon. And now times by the ratio, we want to change photon. We want to turn it into mole. So photon would have to go on the top. And let me erase this check mark because I'm actually going to put numbers here. And mole goes on the bottom. And the conversion factor tells me that for every one mole, so the one goes on the bottom, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd photons goes up on the, on the top. Photons cancel out, and now you're left with joule per mole, and that's what you want. So all you got to do is just times by Avogadro's number. So 2.961 times 10 to the negative 19th times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is... 1.783 times 10 to the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 10 to the 5th joules per mole. So that would be that answer. So that's this answer right here. What's the total energy in one mole? 1 1.783 1 times 10 to the 5th joules would be found per one mole in one mole. Now, last but not least... They're asking for the color, and the color can always be found by either one of the two, wavelength or frequency. In here, we're going to solve it for the wavelength because in this chart here, they gave us a chart of angstroms, and you can see how the different angstroms, you see how this little A, this A is an angstrom. Angstrom. And different angstroms correspond with different types of colors. So all we got to do is just find out what our value of wavelength is in angstroms, and then we just match it up. So we should also know the conversion between meters, which is what we have in our wavelength, to angstroms. So one meter is equal to one times 10 to the 10th angstroms. So we're going to use this conversion to go from our wavelength to angstrom, and then just match up the colors. So our um, wavelength was 6.708 times 10 to the 7th meters. Conversion time, so times by the ratio. We don't want meters anymore. We want angstroms. And it tells us that 1 meter equals 1 times 10 to the 10th angstrom. Meters cancel out. We get angstrom. So 6.708 times 10 to the 7th. Negative 7, actually. I was going to say that number does not match up. So 6.708 times 10 to the negative 7th times 1 times 10 to the 10th. We get roughly 6,700 
and eight angstroms. So that's the number that we're looking for over here. So this is 6,000 angstroms, this is 7,000. So maybe this would be in the middle, so that's 650. So somewhere around here, 6708 angstroms. What do you think the color is? I would say it's red. So what's the color of the emitted light? It gives off a red color. Box that off, that's the answer. All right, guys, this one was fun. Let me know in the comments what you thought, if this helped you. Or if it didn't help you, let me know too. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Have an awesome day.